Hello, girl. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Teacher. <laughs> good. It's a sign class. Is <laughs> say hello to a classmate, make any question, you know, to start the class. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? I mean, no, I said everybody. Good evening, everybody. Okay, good, good evening, evening Sandra. Good evening, Sandra. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Janet. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Jansi. Good evening. Good evening, Amel Carr. Good evening, Osman. Good evening. Jason. How was your day? Oh, Jason Bounty. Good evening. I can't Mr. Mr. Good Jansi, can, can you repeat, Jansi? Uh, I didn't see. I don't say anything. You didn't say anything? You didn't say, no. how was your day? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was Janet. Okay, Janet, go ahead. Okay, how, are, how was your day? For me, it was tired. Uh, tired? Yes. I went to the San Salvador and I went to... Wait. I Bye. went to the San Salvador. Mm. No, I went to San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I went to buy many things, many foods. <laughs> yes, China food, yes. Chinese food, really? Yes, yes, I like. What what, what place were you at buying mm -hmm. food? Veget vegetarian, vegetarian food. Vegetarian Chinese. food? Yes. Chinese like vegetarian it. food. Veterinarian, veterinarian, yes. I like um, uh, over, no sé si es sobre, over the Gabriela Mistral district. On yes. or on. along, along Gabriela over. Mistral. Uh, sobre, no. Along, along. Gabriela along. Mistral. Gabriela Mistral, uh, yes. Um, down to the Burger King. Near Passing. to Burger King. Passing Burger King? Yes. This is delicious. What's the name of the restaurant? Uh, uh, vegetarian food. <laughs> vegetarian. That's the name? Uh, vegetarian food? Yes. It's okay. Good. <laughs> well, my favorite uh, food for Chinese, I'm, I'm sorry, my favorite restaurant for Chinese food is called Diamante Chino. This is a- uh, Diamante is, China, no, Diamante China. There is a restaurant, it's- um, um, Near like, La Chulona, right? <laughs> yeah, that, is a Comedor, it's a, uh, no restaurant. It no is restaurant. just um, a food court, it's just a court, a court. Can you write a food court, a food court. court? like the, the one in Metro Centro? Yeah, a food mm -hmm. court. Yeah, mm -hmm. good part. That's just a place where you go to specifically eat, and that's it. It's not a restaurant. Okay, 
Interesting. And you know what, Yancy? Tomorrow I'm going to Saka take a look at with my husband. Oh, where where the place do you visit? Will you? Are well, you no. going to? Yes. What? Where place do you going to? No. Do mm -hmm. where place? What? Now, hold on, hold on. What okay. place? Uh, what place do you? Are you going to? Are you going to visit? There you go. What place are you going to visit? Oh, we are going to go to to um, eh, Changayo because over there we have a a car. Eh, yeah, a long time ago, the 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 police. Eh, um, the police confiscated. Yes. And uh, the oh. kilometer fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Yes. I and that, that's in Zacatecoluca. That's in where? Zacate? Yes, in Zacate. There's mm. another. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, <laughs> good to know. Mm -hmm. Good to know. So let's start your class. So if you remember yesterday, um, let me continue the conversation with the Changayo. Something, <laughs> something I'll be um nervous about if they if they if they confiscated my car something that i'd be nervous about is yes. is them is them taking out heart i'll be nervous i'll be concerned oh, yeah. something that i'd be concerned if they took my car is um missing original parts Yes. It's, it's, it's too old. My car is too old, so I couldn't find yeah. I couldn't find more pieces, so that would be really sad. Yes. Um do you live near next next to no near uh the Diamante the Diamante Chino? Did I you? live near the Diamante Chino, yes. I live near the Diamante Chino. Really? Uh, so, yeah, uh, not very close, but close to Colegio Genesis. I know Colegio Genesis, of course. Yeah, I'm very close to Colegio Genesis. Oh, <laughs> oh well, you know, I got to a, a Christian church that is after the the Texaco Constitution. Uh, oh, yes. and on that Calle Al Volcán. Yeah, in is Calle Alcazar. Uh huh. Going to Casa Rosada, right? Yeah, over there. Yeah, I'm very close to that area. Near. <laughs> I mean that. I mean that block actually after Texaco, the mm -hmm. Laboratorio Diesel, the Tienda mm -hmm. San Judas. Yeah. That, that's, that's my song. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and there is a tree over there in a, in a triangle, right? Oh, which tree? Oh, you mean a huge tree? Yes, a huge yeah, tree. There's a huge uh -huh. tree in the triangle. That's very, true. Very near. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Good. So I'm sorry, my cats were fighting on the roof. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you remember about yesterday's topic? Can you use it now? Uh, yes, of course. Um, what? Let's talk about, let's make questions randomly, randomly. What will you say? What is something you will say to your grandma if she was alive? What is something you will say to your grandma if she was alive? Or your grandpa? You would say... Let me write it. To your... To your, to your oh, grandma? sorry. If she were, something if she, you would if she say, were alive, uh huh, alive. your grandma or grandpa, okay, grandma or grandpa, right? What is if you they would were alive, alive, <sighs> something that I'll, uh, something that I'll like to say. To my grandpa is um I love you, for example. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> that was my idea. Because um, I, I didn't meet him that much. He was a carpenter. My, my grandpa was a carpenter. But he had a problem with alcohol. Oh, okay. And that's why I don't drink. <laughs> that's why I don't drink. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of drinking. Yes, of course. You are right. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yes, please, Janet. Mm -hmm. um, if my grandpa was uh, alive, mm -hmm. um, I would like to say um, that I would like to to have many much time with with him uh, because he and my grandma died yeah. when I was pretty younger. I was very young. When I was pretty younger? Yeah, that sounds right. Really? How old were you? Um, grandma dead when I have had uh, around six years. When I was. When I was, yeah. yeah. And um, grandpa dead when I died. Was, died. Dad were, well, was um, around 12 years old. When you were about 12 years old. Okay, excellent. Okay, just remember, died. Okay, grandpa yeah. died. Yeah. Okay. May I teacher? Yes, please. Something that I said my maternal, I don't know how to say maternal, maternal. Well, maternal grandmother is that mm. I miss her so much. I miss her so much. Okay. Yeah. I, something that I say. What I did say, yeah, my... say it, my my maternal mother, grandmother, because I didn't I didn't know the grandmother of my father. Mother's side, granny. Mother's side, granny. Mother's side, grandma. To my mother's side, grandma. My mother's mm -hmm. side. Uh -huh. My mother. My mother's side, grandma. Be careful with the apostrophe, right? Because it's possession. Hey, Jack hey, Jacqueline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. May Where, I? Where's the party? <laughs> no, teacher. Your teacher here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, something that I I would I would like to say to my grandpa uh, is I miss you so much. Yes, there you go. Something. That I yeah. like, that I really like something. Yeah, that I'll be proud to tell my parent, my grandparents, is look at me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel. I think they they see us. You know something weird. Um, two years ago, my vieja passed away. <laughs> because that that I mean, I used to go to Santa Ana. I moved to San Salvador in 1998, and. After that, I used to go to Santa Ana from time to time. And every time I used to go to Santa Ana, I was like, vieja, ya vine. And my brother, my brother used to go like, ¿Por qué le llama vieja vos? You know, I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's the way. Because we grew up, we grew up calling her Tita since she was, since we were teenagers, right? Really child you know in our childhood we call her tita but eventually eventually i started calling her vieja in mexico, mexico, mexico called in mexico called vieja viejo is not in natural it's, it's normal it's, yeah that's normal i don't know no, and, i have heard that they say he, jefa and jefe no, yes, i don't like the, that the, yeah the grandmother yes <laughs> i call jefe to my my father-in-law Oh. My father-in-law, the boss, right? <laughs> Your father. Yeah, yeah. And my my kids call them Lelo and Lela, Lelos, oh. right? Jejo and Jeja. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Karen, do you have any kids? Yes, I do. I have one kid. Uh, really? Nine, almost nine years old. He's almost nine. Okay. Yeah, almost nine, hmm. but just one. <laughs> hmm. What is um? What is one thing you wouldn't expect to happen whenever he's an adult? What is one thing 
you wouldn't expect to happen whenever he becomes an adult. Let me write it. It's a difficult question. I never, <laughs> I never thought. Um, it's easy, actually. It's easy? Yeah, think about it. What is one thing you wouldn't expect to happen to him as adult? It's a simple question, but in reality, this is something that as father or mother, you think a lot every day whenever you have kids it's like man what is something you wouldn't expect to happen to him as adult to him to her if you have sons or daughters what is the in other words let me let me let me paraphrase the question uh what is your biggest fear I was about to say something else. What is something you wouldn't expect to happen to him as an adult? Uh, am I trying to say uh, one thing I really uh, expected uh, like other is uh, my my white hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, come, come again, Amilcar, your wife's? Uh, my, my, my white hair. <laughs> My, my oh, oh la, you la, you la, la, la yeah your silver <laughs> silver hair your uh, silver oh, hair sí. uh-huh my, my silver hair <laughs> okay but, However, but uh -huh. we're talking I about my son right guess, we're, we're, we're like, talking about your yeah, son yeah. or your daughter i mean i guess i just how i just how <laughs> i getting i getting i'm getting the silver you're, you're getting the silver hair okay just, yeah, just, just again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Um, I, I look like Talia, yes, uh, Talio uh, right now. I have some. <laughs> really. I, I just have, I just have silver uh, hair here, uh, here, and I'm that's sorry. it. Sorry, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> I am a little bit viejita, right? Okay. <laughs> I have many uh, silver hair, really, and I really, love it. Um, I'm hey, old. We I'm, we went through I'm la older. tangente. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. We let's went through right. let the Let's continue. Okay. Come on. Let's I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Let me give you an example. I don't Some... think in something bad that it happened to him. So that's why I can't answer that. So really? Okay. So this only thinking this... in good things for him. That, that answers my question as parent. Because mm -hmm. I've I've noticed that women women don't get concerned about the future you don't think about the future about the kids future it's just today today exactly and it's okay i mean you, did you behave today were you a good boy today did you do your bath did you wash your teeth and so on right but but parents i don't know fathers in my case I'm concerned about their future person. Who are they going to be? Because I have had nightmares, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, I have had horrible nightmares, especially with the two boys. With the two boys. You have just two boys. I have two boys and a little girl. So, oh, okay, okay. And they, they are 13, 10, and 7. Mm. So, Christopher, Xavier, and Julia, it's like 13, 10 and seven. So I, I'm okay. concerned because, you know, the way the country was, maybe that, that was my concern with Christopher. I dreamed that they, they, <laughs> they kicked him, you know, some kids on at the mall, they found him and they kicked him. And I was like, what? Yeah, was probably a... because you are a man, but normally I don't think that, uh, that something had something bad it happened to him okay but not something that thing. bad let's so, think um, let's think in, from the woman women perspective uh -huh. let's go with xavier my second son so with christopher i'm afraid because he's really he's tall he's really strong uh so i'm afraid he becomes too bully you know mm -hmm. but with mm -hmm. xavier with xavier i'm afraid 
he will make me a grandpa very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the middle, the, the middle guy. Listen, guys, the middle guy. The middle. He, he he is brown. He's brown. He has big brown eyes, and he has a curly hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. He's oh my god! I mean, we go to parents' oh, meeting. We go to a parents' meeting at, at school, okay? And five minutes after we arrive, we start asking, where is, where is Javier? Where is Javier? And he's on, on one of these tables, you know, surrounded by girls. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's popular. Y el, con, el, con el pie sobre la pared, o así. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, no. Very Probably it's because of the age. But he's, he's right 10. now, my, my son is nine, so I don't think it's in these type of things. No. I know it's our perspective, but you get, <laughs> uh -huh. you get to know your sons eventually. It's like, oh, my God, because he speaks a lot. I mean, he meets you, and in five minutes, he's your best friend. <laughs> yeah, good. that's different. And then that's good. I mean, and, and that's me, by the way. I'm paying everything that I own. <laughs> You know, that's the way we say it. Okay, good guys. Okay, I need to know before we move on. Do you have questions about this topic? I have one question about this course because I know we already um, finished the exam. So because it's my first time uh, mm -hmm. in this course, I'm not sure what's going on now. So. What's going to happen after tomorrow, which is the, our last class is tomorrow, not today. Uh, what's next? Well, right now, yeah, <laughs> yes, we will go on vacation. And then I believe you will return around August. 13th. I no. think um, August 8th, between August 8th and August 12th, that will be your. I don't think so. Hopefully. So are we going to have the entire week? I or think August fifteenth. I go. I think August fifteenth. Yeah, it's fifteen because yeah. thirteen is the last uh, date for your is, is. I don't know how do you say inscribir. Oh, to subscribe. Yes. To subscribe. To, the to subscribe course. to the, the next. Yes. Yeah, the next course. Mm. Is the last date. I didn't know that. Okay, that's the deadline. Me that's neither. what you said. Yeah. That's the deadline. Okay, yeah. didn't know that. So deadline. The last day is. And so that's the deadline, Miguel, to to deliver your documents, to give your documents. Yeah, of course. Like yeah. the deadline for documents is. May I may I make a question, teacher? Okay. Yes, please. Okay, to let's see, let's see, let's see to Miguel, Miguel Antonio. Yeah. Who <laughs> are some people you call every day if you were anywhere else in the world? Sorry. Who are some people you call yeah. every day if you were anywhere else in the world? In the world. Well, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, my mom or my dad, I call her every day. Harris, but that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is all <laughs> good. Okay. okay. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, let me move on and show you again the screen. Regarding this grammar topic, honestly, in real life scenarios, this is kind of used, you know. Not all of the times you will find a gringo talking this way, you know, in figurative way. At, at the job, let's think, who will make these questions? Uh, unless you were running, listen, unless you were running for Miss Universe, maybe, <laughs> right? They will make uh, suppositions, figurative questions. Okay, if you were the queen, how would you end poverty in the world? Uh, okay. Now, exactly what, what, just, what she did, what Sandra just did. If you noticed, uh, yesterday we were using the noun phrases, um, the relative clauses, we were using them as subjects at the beginning of our sentence. 
But now we want to use them at the end as subjects. And I'm just going to say it in Spanish. I'm sorry, but espero que este punto tú ya hayas entendido la diferencia entre sujeto y objeto. Ok, y rápido, sujeto es el que lleva a cabo la acción en una oración y objeto es el que recibe la acción. Ok. Yeah. That's clear, right? That's, there's nowhere to get lost. Now, so if you noticed, see the, the, the position of things right here. How can I cut this? I don't have a way to cut it. Um, yeah. So. If you notice, this is what we're doing. In this case, one thing I'd really miss. This is our subject. And here is working as an object. One thing I'd really miss. That is our object, the object of the sentence. So now if we want to change it. In this sentence, mom's cooking is the object and I missed my the possessive adjective okay my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence but here my mom's cooking is the subject and we are still using the verb to be are we getting it are you getting it yes yeah. the connector is verb yeah. to be for the the object and the subject is between. Always the structure is here is this or changing sometimes. Um, this is the structure all the time. This is what we want to use okay. when we use this specific type of grammar, noun phrases containing relative clauses. Um, you know, in real life. In real life, if you go wet to this to the United States, you learn these things just by talking to people. Okay, just keep that in mind. Siempre, siempre en la vida real te digo, esto se aprende así nomás. <laughs> Ahora, esto, una cosa, eh, creo que se lo dije antes. Averigüen el uso de preposiciones al final de pregunta WH, ¿se acuerdan? De preguntas abiertas, ¿no? Pero también te va a ocurrir, y eso lo estoy diciendo en español porque no es algo común, un tema común o algo que probablemente vayas a cubrir dentro de un curso de inglés. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Pues no sé por qué, pero debería ser algo importante de enseñar. El uso de preposiciones al final de oraciones. Mira, something I'll be nervous about. Yes. Ok. Uh, who are you going with? Ese, who are you going with? Si no está el with I'm al final. With. <laughs> Wait, who am I talking to? Ah, uh -huh. yes. I'm sorry, who am I talking to? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm. Si no ves el tú al final, soy horrible, ¿no? Who, who, am I, who am I talking? Who am I talking? Mm -hmm. Right? You got it? I'm talking to. Sí, si no tiene cierta preposición al, al final de las oraciones o de preguntas, no tiene sentido la, la oración mm -hmm. o la pregunta. Um, it's like saying, what is this for? Very different. What is this for? Or what is this? Mm -hmm. What's this? ¿Qué es esto, right? Mm -hmm. En cambio, what is this for? ¿Para qué es esto? Ok. Um, what? Okay, what is the preposition in this question? What are we talking about? about? Hey, oh. good. <laughs> oh. what, are about? what are we talking about? You know, Paul is saying, what, what are we talking? Oh, oh, oh if you want to say who? What are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? But, what is the name of this topic? Uh, prepositions at the end of sentences. Okay. Prepositions at the end of sentences. Is no, something. En uh, teoría can... es algo que, que debe, debe de entenderse en contexto. Ya, yeah? okay. este es gramática en contexto. Cuando la aprendes en la calle o en cualquier academia, 
no, yo no lo he visto hasta ahora, en siete años nunca he visto una academia que dentro de su, uh, dentro de su... ¿Calendario? No, hay una, hay, ajá, hay una palabra. Para... Programa de estudios. <risa> dentro de su programa de estudios incluya, right este, este tipo de temas. Uh, de hecho, el libro que alguien puso en, en el um, chat de WhatsApp, yo tengo tres ediciones de ese libro y ninguna abarca esto. Imagínate. Y es de Cambridge. Wow. Ok, so let's continue. What are we talking about? Um, ok, where are you heading to? Where are you heading to? Where are you heading to? Y esta es una oración que los americanos la ocupan sin la preposición. Where are you heading? Where? Incluso. Un americano hace eso, mira. Hey, where are you heading? Where are you heading? Mm -hmm. heading. ¿Por qué soy así? Sí, pero esto no lo escribe en americano, no lo escribe Cambridge, no lo escribe nadie. Pero se sobreentiende en el habladito. Hey, where are you heading? Where are you, where are you heading? Okay. Where are you heading to? Okay, just be careful with these prepositions. Where are you heading to? Okay, la canción. La canción. Where are you waiting? For. for. <laughs> Pero cántela. What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, prepositions at the end of the questions are very important. And something, okay. Uh, at what time do you wake up? Do you wake up? Up, wake up. Is this correct? At what times? At what time? No. What time do you wake up only? Exactly. Be careful with this, please. At what time do you wake up? Is otro teacher le dice que no, que el ad va antes. No. Okay. What time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? Okay. Just be careful with that. What time do you wake up at? at? No. no, 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 no. For, forget about the at. That's the point. Forget about the at. Okay. There are many propositions. Okay. Good. Uh, so let's move on. Let's continue with the ideas. So my parents are two people. I'll email every day. My parents are. So I moved again the, the relative clause at the end because I want to use it as an object. Okay. Can somebody give me another example with what we have covered using as an object, the relative clause? Uh, me? Yes, please. Leaving, seeing the planes to cough is something I really miss from my last job. Hmm. Let me watch. Took off. Mm -hmm. It's something I really miss from my last job. Mm -hmm. Now, what sounds better, Karen, for my last job or about my last job? It means about my last job, for, for my last job. You're being too textual about, it, it's about. Now, at this point, and, and this is why I'm pushing you so much with prepositions. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of prepositions. And the best way I have noticed is when you, for example, Karen, Sandra, I mean, you, you, you expressed yourselves like this really quick, really quick, and it's okay. So at this point, my recommendation will be think about other prepositions. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I say it with a different proposition? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and listen to yourself. What sounds better? Watching planes, watching the planes, uh, watching planes in general, right? Watching planes take off. The planes. Mm -hmm. Take off is something I really miss about my last job. About my last job. It, watching planes take off is something I really miss 
from my last job of my last job hold on one, one second one second sorry don't worry i'm alone i'm i'm maybe sitting right now and and it's about to rain so oh be careful teacher yeah i know it's about to rain and then and the 13 year old doesn't want to do nothing you know he, he doesn't want to do a thing he's always with the cell phone chatting with his friends you know <laughs> And the problem is that you talk to them right in front of them and he's with his headsets, you know. You go like, hey, hey. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's, it's and it's not difficult. okay. Yeah. It's not okay. Okay, let's continue. At least he loves reading. That's something that I love about him. He, he has written about 10 books already this year. He likes reading and that's good. So I don't care. If you go bad in mathematics, you know, if you get a 7.5, but if you, if you have written a book, it's fine with me. Teacher. Hey. Uh, may I, uh, watching planes taking off? Uh, is it not correct to say? I knew it, yes. <laughs> watching planes take off, watching planes taking off. You can use both. You can use both. Oh, that's nice. You can, uh, why? Because, and if you notice, we're talking in present simple here. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you talk in figurative, figurative way with this same sentence? Karen or Sandra or Jancy, Janet, I don't know. Just make it a figurative um, expression. Expressions. So and another there, example? Yeah, the, the same yes. example, but make it a figure, something that you wonder. Just look at the examples. The noun phrases containing relative clauses help us doing this specific task. Make it a figure. Teacher, I'm going to try. Yes, please. A, a place uh, that I... That I would like visit hmm. is Disney World. Okay, who can help me with both things? I mean, ahorita vamos a hacer esto de una manera figurada ocupando los relative clauses, ya sea como objeto o sujeto. Y lo que acaba de decir um, Jacqueline, ¿está bien? A place that I liked visit is Disney World. Sure, I have an example. Yancy, just, just a minute, just a minute. Yancy? Yes, it's, for me it's correct. I don't know. For you it is correct? What are we missing, guys? A place that I'll like visit is Disney mm, World. A preposition is missing there. Where? Where? Like, uh, okay. I like to visit. I like About to... it, like it, like uh, it. Like to visit. To visit. Okay. Yes, teacher. Is Disney World or I like visiting? Uh, yeah, gerund or infinitive, whichever you prefer. Is Disney World a place that I like to visit? To visit is Disney World. Disney World. Yes, teacher. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I had Joaquin. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have an example, teacher. Yes, please. Okay, something I'd be, I'd be anxious about is waiting for exam when I couldn't study. Excellent, something I'll be anxious about is waiting for... For exam. For the exam. For the exam. Uh -huh. when, when I... When I couldn't... Couldn't could study. Okay, for me, this is perfect. There's just one thing. Yes. Pre preventing, thank you, thank you, Joaquin, this is awesome. Um, in this case, 
I have a question for everybody. Is this a conditionant sentence? Is this a conditional sentence? Yeah, it's a condition. Yes. Yes, so what is the condition? If I uh, were to study, uh, I'll be anxious like, for the exam. So here is the condition. Yeah. Yes. When I, if I couldn't study. Yeah. Yeah. When I yeah. couldn't study. But wouldn't it, listen, wouldn't it make more sense? Repeat, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't, hold wouldn't, on, wouldn't, wouldn't it, it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it wouldn't make it, more it, sense make if more we sense say, make more if sense we say, if we say, if we say, if, if instead of, when? Instead of when? Okay, listen. Wouldn't it make more sense if we say if instead of when? Necesito que alguien me traduzca esta pregunta al español rápido. Wouldn't it make more sense if we say if instead of when? No tendría más sentido si digo sí en lugar de cuando. Perfect. Hey, that's a good good way of going. You see? Wouldn't it make more sense if we do this instead of that? This instead of that? Esto en lugar de aquello? O esto en lugar de eso, okay? Wouldn't it make more sense if we say if instead of when? Something I'll be anxious about is waiting for the exam. This, if, 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 yes. if, if I couldn't start it. I couldn't study only. Start it. Study, study in prison. Why? Study. No, no, no. Couldn't study, right? Or no? You are right, my dear. Study. <laughs> yeah, because it cannot be yeah. in past and the other in the past. I, I... Couldn't have study. I couldn't Shh. have study. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm not going there. I'm not going to explain you right now. Uh, per perfect models, okay? Have you started perfect models? Not right. Not exactly. No. Yeah. You may have seen them. Okay. No, ya van a ver eso, los modelos perfectos. Pero si hubiese sido lo adecuado al usar el started en pasado. If I couldn't have started, if I couldn't study. Si no pude estudiar. Aquí literal diríamos, si no pude estudiar. Estamos ocupando could como el pasado de Ken, no como un modal. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Good. May, I, may I make a sentence, teacher? Please, everybody, go okay. ahead. The shining I... moons on summer is what I miss next winter. Oh, hold on. Again, the shiny. The shining moons. Moon. Moons. Moons. Ajá, las, las uh -huh, lunas. Uh -huh. ¿Eh? luna. On summer. In summer, ajá. Uh -huh. In summer, okay. Summer. In summer is what I the miss next winter. Hmm. Is what I... Where? The shining moons? What is that? Oh, la, las lunas luminosas del, de, del verano. Oh, 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 I got you, I got you, I feel you, I got you. Like the uh -huh. full moon? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I mean, in general, mm -hmm. in general, a full moon or a quarter moon, yeah, the new moon. Yeah, okay. hey, last year or this year, there's been a lot of um, moons, right? Red Ecl moons. Eclipse as well, eclipses. Yeah. A lot of red moons, yeah. Okay, let's move on. So let's continue practicing. I want you to do something for me okay. and to start working. Um, what questions will you make to Miss Universe? Okay, so we are in the contents, we're in the contest 
Okay, what kind of figurative questions would you make to Miss or Mr. Universe? What is it now? Mr. Universe, they don't answer questions, right? Have you seen Mr. Universe? No. 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 I was no. Mr. El Salvador in 1999. I'm going to watch this video and see your face. Mr. Universe was. <laughs> 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 is like, no, I don't believe you. You're, you're too fat. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> Bill, Bill Calderon was the, 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 the only one I have heard that he has been. Mr. Universe, any, any what? Universe. oh, yeah. yeah, this year the guy I remember, yeah, yeah, the guy lifting oh, weights, run. yeah, of course. Okay, so right now you're going to a contest. What questions, what figurative questions would you make in the contest? Make sure you use the grammar, okay? Okay, okay. really quick, it's just 10 minutes, and tomorrow we are going to close with this and some linked sounds, which is the last topic. You ready? Yes. Let's yes. go. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Speaking. Speaking. Uh, which is the activity? Okay, what, what's the activity, okay? We have to come up with questions, um, uh, figurative questions, just the way we have been doing last two classes. What is something you will change in the world? Uh, okay, okay. For example. Okay. Okay, what is something that you will do in a in a foreign country? Repeat, please. What is something that you will do in a foreign country? Mm. In a foreign country. <laughs> in Asgore, resting on weekend is one thing that I will miss uh, a lot from my previous job. Re resting on weekends? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Is something? Is one thing? Uh, is something? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is one thing? Is one is thing? thing? One thing? Uh -huh. that, uh, that I would miss a lot? That I I miss I a miss lot. a lot miss a lot from my previous job. From <clears throat> my previous job. Yeah. Oh, I suppose it is good. Uh, well, yes. you're you're talking in present right now. It's something that I miss about my previous job. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm it's some, it, yeah, it's something that I miss about that I would miss about my previous job. Yeah, oh. it's one thing that I will miss a lot about my job. Um, uh -huh. It's like asking, what will you miss about your job? Yes, uh -huh. it's, it's, most, it's, more, it's more simple. It's more simple. It's and more, more short. Appropriate. It's more appropriate. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is and something more easy, teacher. Uh, easier, more easy easier, easier, easier? Thank uh -huh. you, teacher. You're welcome, Jacqueline. Yeah, it's something that 
what is something you'd miss about your current job? Uh, let's say that you move from your current house. What is something you'd miss about your house? Something I wouldn't miss anything. I am better in this house than in the previous one. You were happier? <laughs> Wait. You... I'm happier here in my house, in this house. In this house than you were before. Oh, really? Of course I am. Teacher, in she my real a... life, I moved to, to house recently. You moved from house recently? Yes. Uh, I have 10 days here. I ha yes. I've been and I have been here for 10 days. I have uh -huh, I have been 10 your 10 10 days ago. I have, yes. again, again. I've been here repeat I've been here. I've been here for 10 days. For 10 days. Yes. Really? Teacher. Yes. I rent a house. Wow. Yes, it's where, where are in you? My... Are, are you in San Miguel too? No, I from Armenia and, and I here to live. And I live here. <laughs> Where in Armenia? <laughs> is it hot? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is is the place of los cocos, los coqueros. Oh really? Yes. It's... There's a lot of coconuts. Okay. Yes. Is there a nice place to to fish? To go uh, fishing? Here, we... mm -hmm. here no. No. But I do what is it? Oh okay. We'll find out. Near. Yes, it's... I, okay. I love fishing. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, uh, Daniela, what would you miss about corporate English classes? English corporativos classes. English mm -hmm. corporativos classes. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Daniela. Daniela, repeat, please. Okay, what would you miss about corporate uh, English corporativos classes? The teacher. <laughs> ah, <laughs> she don't Daniela de la Cruz. Especially point, the present teacher. One right? point yes. for the last exam. You're okay. failing, teacher. You are a good teacher. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, Jacqueline, Stephanie, Arcetovar. One point for the last exam. Okay, let's continue. Come on. Okay. okay. No. Daniel, another. Um, uh, to me, uh, for me is my parents is is subject. Yeah. An object. Yeah. Are... I understand that your parents is the subject because you are talking about them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. It's clear. It's so, clear. are we going to make questions to Miss Universe? Mm -hmm. I I just yeah. I was just thinking about Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and the last question uh, it was, what is the most important thing in the society or the society needs? And everyone it's... says war peace. Or peace. Or peace. <laughs> yes. Oh, and she didn't want she didn't want to say that, right? No. <laughs> but in the end she goes like war peace. <laughs> yes. Yes. My God. <laughs> Are you going to have vacations? You're so cruel, Karen. I'm sorry. No, no I'm actually requesting tomorrow to go from 5 a.m. to 12:30. Hopefully they can approve me a swap, a schedule swap with mm -hmm. someone because my family will be here in the house the whole week. So if I work from 8.30 to 4 p.m., it's going to be, uh, right. So is that your schedule, 8.30 to 4 p.m.? Mm -hmm. That's because I requested it, because I requested it. But just for this week during the, the vacations, you know, I would like to spend some time with the family. So. I'd rather be in the morning. <coughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Rosa Maria, don't talk too much. She was talking a lot. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. She was making some examples, right? Okay. It's just that I'm here. Okay. Continue, guys. Come on. Continue. Okay. We're, we're still missing four minutes. You can do it. Okay.
So are you going to say one example, Rosa Maria? No. No. Miss Universe. Miss Universe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And you will ask to her if you were in front of her. Um. <laughs> how many languages you speak? Mm. <laughs> en Spanish es como algo que extrañaría del universo, algo así, o no. Something I really miss? Yeah. Ajá, algo que extrañarías. Que realmente extrañarías. <coughs> Something I be nervous talk, talk nervous, nervous about uh, is talking and um, with a famous person. Mm -hmm. But I know I don't know I I don't know uh, anybody. Yes, one thing I really be nervous about is going to the dentist all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what about you, Rosa Maria? Okay. Um, um, something that you would like to do for the older people if you want. If you want, if you win. <laughs> if you win. No, but if you win, if you win, if you want, if you want, <laughs> you want something that you would like to do for the other older people. For the for the elderly. Elderly. For the elderly, huh? Elderly. Elderly. Um, yep. Give me a minute. I missed a monitor. I would like to to make us a, a center for to a center entre entretenimiento centro entertainment center entertainment center, 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 center. center. people make um a like a swimming make a sport and do is any sport um practice sport book. <laughs> yes they need they need to be busy busy yeah they need to to have their minds uh working yes the mind working they need to have their minds busy yes Okay, let's review. Okay, I still have time for two examples really quick. Jenny. Okay. Rosa Maria, give me your example, just one. 
Okay. Yes, speaking English, speaking English is, is something that I've been nervous sometimes. It's something that I'll be nervous about. It's something that I'll be nervous sometimes. Something that I'll be nervous about sometimes. Something that I'll be nervous about. No, speaking about. English is some, something that I'll be nervous. Yes, speaking English. 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 Ish. English. Mm -mm. Vamos a llamar a la gallina después de la clase. Come on. English. English. Shh, shh. English. English. Oh. Is something yes. that I'll be nervous about. Hmm. Something that I'll be nervous about. Okay, practice that. Shh. Okay, guys, gotta go. Les espero mañana para nuestra última clase. Thank you very much. Enjoy the night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye.